Okay, I'm here with uh, Kevin from Hot Gold, Hot Radio, and Hot... Extra hot. Extra hot. I love it. Hot extra like hot. That? Extra hot. Yeah, yeah just extra hot. We did it the other way around because <laughs> everybody else had done that, so they're too late now. Nice. So we didn't want to be hot extra. Yep. So we did it the other way around just to be different. And um, how many radio shows are you doing a week? Oh, we over 500 hours of programming we have to do every week on the three stations, obviously. Yep. Uh, extra hot is dance and urban stuff, so... Uh, and hot radio plays mainstream, and gold is the gold service playing the old 70s, 80s, 90s. Got it. And how much, how much are you playing? And how much have you got DJs coming? And oh, mate, we got DJs, loads of syndicate shows. I mean, it's full schedule on all three stations. Amazing. So literally, yeah. There's probably about six hours a day of automation overnight and stuff. Yep. But um, we take take shows from like you know Mark Knight, Tool Room. Yep. Everybody, pretty much the defected camp. And how long have you been doing that for? Uh, I've been in radio about 20 years now, so nice. yeah, I thought I was getting a little bit old for the clubs. Yep. <laughs> and a little bit bold. Uh, so yeah, I just thought, yeah, let's let's get into radio a bit. So uh, nice. yeah, I've done the commercial circuit and now I've got my own, yeah. Great, so we're going to talk a bit about uh, your music library and where you get yes. your tracks from and stuff. So um, you said you get quite a lot of promos? Yeah, absolutely, loads of promos, hundreds a week. And you use InFlight? Yeah, absolutely, use InFlight. I, seem, I, I, I feel that's a little bit easier to use for me. I can trust the labels that send me the stuff, so I know I'm not wasting a lot of time. Do you get sent stuff direct as well? Oh yeah, just loads, yeah. Hundreds of emails a week, yeah. So, and uh, how do you choose which ones to listen well, to? Well, <laughs> I listen to it. I've got an instinct, obviously, of 40 years of DJing. Yeah. And just, you just know if it's right, and then I carry on listening, and then it, I have to assign that to either whatever station it's going on sort of thing. So do you pass that on to the other? So basically, yeah, on Extra Hot, I'm, I pretty much do the whole library yep. uh, to make sure it sounds like we want it to sound. Yep. Um, and then I pass it on to the other program controllers for the other two stations. And when you say library, is that like a shared Dropbox or? Um, so the library, oh, that's a Myriad library. So that's a play out library right. that we have that the, all, the, all the presenters and DJs have access to. Yeah. Um, so on a cloud storage or something? Or yeah, well, it's all stored on our, on our service. Right, got uh, it. Internally, we've got a digital system. We've got six studios. and Yeah. Yeah, so it's quite complicated. Yeah, and then me as a DJ, yeah. uh, the ones I like, they go into different folders. Um, Record box, Serato tractor. Record box. I don't even know how to use the other things. Right, right, right. You, you were saying you've only just got to digital. Yeah, right? yeah, I was a little bit scared. I took over Hot Radio about five years ago and I was a little bit, I was still a vinyl DJ. Uh, I didn't know what they were called, but you put them in order and you just knew. <laughs> You yeah. know, and just write random things on them where you got the on promos. The labels. Yeah, so I was a little bit scared to go over to that because I, I'm terrible with names. Sorry, I don't know your name. Yeah, uh, so I'm <laughs> Kevin, terrible. Right? With, yeah, yeah, you got me. You got me. Uh, so I'm terrible with names, and I can never remember the names of the tracks. Yep. But so what I do is I put it into different folders in the way I want it to do. And what's that? Well, basically, like, so I've got a gig on sound on Sunday with Paul, uh, with Brandon actually uh, in in Bournemouth on Sobo Beach. So I've got an early set, you know, I've got an early folder. Yeah. I've got a, like a disco-y groovy folder as we're building up. Then I've got a more housey and classics folder. Yeah. And then a maybe folder if yeah. they go for it. Yeah. <laughs> and for the extras. And how often, will you, how often will you dip out of those folders that you've done for a set and just go freestyle if there's a track that you've Oh, loads, like? yeah. I mean, I, I, I learned the old school way. We play to the crowd. So whatever, yes. where are they going? So I've got other folders, obviously, that are full of classics. Like by genre of, or? By genre, by year as yeah. well. So um, I organize mine into, like, I've got um, a 2023 folder, then it's got a January folder, then in there... I've got the different genres, so I've got one called Tropical, which is for like Spanish and Latino stuff, uh, and a bit of afro beaty stuff. Then I've got a commercial dance folder, and then I've got my own Kev's favourite folder. Oh, Kev's face. Oh, <laughs> man, this is the one. <laughs> then in there, I've got Feel Good Up, I call it. Yeah. So it's Feel Good Music, it's going to take them up. Feel Good Up. Feel Good Up, that's what Let's I call go. it. Let's go. <laughs> I've got a on the, on the flow, like, uh, <laughs> I can show you actually. I got this on the flow folder, which yep. is just like in between those ones. Yep. And then I've got a harder folder if like they're the going to go. Yeah, like, come on then. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. If you've got that right crowd, you know you're going to go there. Yeah, nice. So, um, so how was the transition from vinyl to digital? How did it you It was really it? difficult for me to make. Obviously, I did CD back in the day, obviously, and all that as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was, I, was, I was kind of, I'm not a technophobe. Yeah. But I, I did feel like that. And yeah. then they just, the guy said, if you, you, could, you do that naturally for however many years, you can do this. Yeah. Right. So I tried it. And then, uh, then I, somebody said, oh, you can analyze all your BPMs. And I, I learned literally yep. in the last three or four years after. And yeah. do you do key analysis? You run it through mixing key? I do now. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't, don't run it through mixing key, but you I do that record through box record one. box. Yep. And then I sort by key if I want to be really, 
you know, I'm how doing a radio you... show, it's got to be perfect, right? Yeah, right, 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 right. How often do you do that when you're playing out at gigs, though? Uh, or is it more by the feeling? No, by it's the, the feeling. Yeah. Um, what the... yeah, we can get the tunes in. You know, yeah. we, we got some tricks from the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just spin that one back yeah. and get back. <laughs> Way up we go. What key? Yeah, exactly. Who cares? Yeah, 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 yeah. Love it. And the hands in the air and you're all good. Yeah, yeah, but I get it. And I, I get that AI is going to come into the radio space and the DJ space. I'm really excited. I love technology. Yeah. Even though I was phobic to that. Yeah. So, but I love future technology. Have you tested out that. some of the AI stuff? Yeah, you... some of it because we got um, with Myriad and stuff like that, and some of the other systems. They've got some analysis stuff that we do. So we got some new mixers uh, that are actually are digital desks. Yep. So we can bring up in any of the six studios, we can bring up sources from any of the other ones. Oh, cool. So you could do an interview over there with Brandon and we could bring it up in Studio 3, 4, whatever. Yep. Um, and they've got some analytics as well that will monitor like social media interactions, text messages, WhatsApps and all of that. And they get a feel for what people and what's trending. That's cool. So that, that can give the presenters more content. Yeah, so cool I'm really text. excited about that. Yeah. As for reading a crowd, yeah. never yeah, going to happen. Right. <laughs> never going to happen. <laughs> yeah, you've got to be there in person. You've got to be there in person. You yeah. know what that person likes, right? Yeah. That's our job. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can't take 100%. that away from us. You could be a jukebox. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah there's always going to be that human interaction I believe so. and the vibe. I I think the people with the experience, I don't know about the younger DJs, yeah. you know, I wish them all the best and I hope they learn and get good experience like we have. Yeah. And I've got 124 volunteers over the three stations yeah. and we're training people constantly and a lot of those are young and they come out with us and if they really want to learn that crowd interaction and feeling, then yeah. good for them. Yeah. If they're going to just do it technically, I think that might, yeah. might fail in, in, in crowd interactions in the future maybe. Yeah. Yeah, because even the super produced shows like your Eric Pritz and yeah, yeah. whatever, where they yeah. big up to Steve who produces that. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. You've got he's our station voice you, on you, extra, by the way. You've still <laughs> right, right, right. You've still got you've still got the DJ up at the front, and the crowd want exactly. someone there. Exactly. You know, they want for to that interact with me. I want to see them yeah. people smiling. Right, exactly. You know, yeah, and if yeah. she's going for it, if he's going for it, let's 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 yeah, take yeah, you higher, yeah, man. Yeah, that's yeah, our job. Yeah, and that's the thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and then so. we're gonna take you down so you can go and get a drink, and then we'll bring you back up again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Thanks so much for talking to us, Kevin. No, really it's appreciate a pleasure. It. Anytime. Yeah, lovely to Cheers, meet you too. Cheers, man.